Okay, it was my first day in Colombo, Sri Lanka. I just left my hotel in the Colombo Fort area and I'm out doing a wee bit of video blogging when this happened. No, not the Chinese posing for photos, that's pretty normal. I'm talking about the beggar that's in front of me. He shouts something as he sees me coming. <laughs> How are you, sir? Now, as I walk past him, you can see a man in a red polo shirt walking in the opposite direction. As soon as I pass him, he does a sharp U-turn and gives a thumbs up to the beggar who no doubt has just alerted him to my presence. So, unaware to me at the time, he starts following me. I walk pretty fast, so I know if somebody's walking at the same pace as me, it's no coincidence. That guy wants something. So I'm out exploring with a general direction in mind of where I want to go and I think I'll turn around this corner. Oh, and so does he. Uh, I think I'll change my mind and, and cross this road. Oh, and so does he. So I'll run across the road. And so does he. Busy road and not getting Yeah, I'm fast. It's no problem for me, mate. I'm a fast one. Right. Uh, Anyway, I'd finished saying what I wanted to say to my GoPro and stopped recording and put it down. And it was at that point that the fella started talking to me. So I uh, sneakily hit the record button again and just kept the camera down at my waist so it didn't look like I was filming. Because I kind of knew that this is going to be some kind of scam or something like that. Nobody approaches a tourist in this kind of manner, speaking perfect English like this. It just never happens without it being a scam. So I kind of knew straight away. Good country. Ah, huh? yes. Well, I've been here, been here before. Huh? You go other side. Why? Take this, a photo. The, it's nothing. This is more beautiful, huh? This place. Or this side. Yeah. This mosque. Oh, the Red Mosque. Yeah, I will take a look. Yeah, I'll take when a look. When you came to Sri Lanka today? Ah, today. But I've been before, huh? Which this one? The second time before. Ah, Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah. No, yes, no. Okay, so he starts by asking if it's my first day in Sri Lanka and if I've been here before. Basically what he's asking me is, how much of a noob are you? How easy is it going to be for me to scam you right now? It's very beautiful. No, I want to walk around this way. Yeah, I walk say nothing here, beautiful. Yeah. No, no, it's okay, I, walk, I just want to uh, walk okay, around. I have a lot of time, I have a lot. So straight away, he's enthusiastically trying to coax me in some other direction by telling me about oh, a beautiful temple that you need to go and see. Unfortunately for him, I'm not a sheep. I'm, I'm not that easily led, and also, I'm not really interested in visiting some random temple. I mean, I've seen enough temples in my life that I could easily go the rest of my life without ever seeing another one and being quite happy about it. If you told me there was a place over there selling, giving away free ice cream, or uh, there's a, a place where really hot girls hang out, or there's a, a retro Nintendo museum, or something like that, he, he, he may have got my interest, but some temple? No. N not interested, mate. Where are you staying? Huh? Where are you staying? We have to stay in uh, Gulfest Road. Oh, yeah. no, no, very important. Ah, you second time, Sri Lanka? Yeah, second oh, time, yeah. Very good, very good. How and you, what you, what's your job here? In the Port Harbour. Port Harbour? What are you, what you yeah, doing yeah. there? Container discharging load, discharging load. Ah, okay, you do this all day, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Today I'm a leave. I to go on there. Yes. Oh, because it's Saturday, huh? Saturday afternoon. Ah, good. So I asked this guy, what is your job here? And he's trying to tell me that he works at the port in some kind of labour job, loading and unloading containers or something like that. Some kind of job where the effort is really high but the pay is really low and he likes to spend his one day off per week, not resting, not at home with his family, but wandering the streets of Colombo, approaching tourists with his perfect English. Yes, the story does not check out. Ah, time. you came uh, how many years before? Uh, before, two years ago. Uh, two years yeah, ago. Yeah, I go to uh, Ella and... Um, uh, where candy. I go, hat on, hat on. Hat on, candy. Yeah. Candy and uh, Nagambo and uh, Gol. Uh, Nagambo, I'm living in Nagambo. You're living in Nagambo? Yeah, you come here for work every day, yeah? Eh? Yeah, yeah, every day. Ah, uh, okay. Nagambo is a group in the beach. This, you working here? Yeah, the side. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, uh, I'm going to walk this way. Nice to meet you. I'll yeah, see you next time. You got the, uh, you seen already that most? What? You seen the yeah, I will see you. So right there, I tried to get rid of him. I kind of let him walk ahead a little bit to see where he was going and then I decided to cross the road to the right. Oh, but still he's coming with me. Still he's following me. Fast again. Okay. This one, right yeah, I know. Two years before, yes, you can. You see new one? New one? What 
they, they changed it? They new do one, the, yeah, the yeah. paint or a new one? Look this. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, two years yeah. before this make already finished here. Ah, uh, okay. I walked there now. You want to see the tsunami camp for 2004, December 26? Yeah. Tsunami camp? Yeah, I know. You know tsunami, no? Yeah, I know the tsunami. It's very bad, huh? Very bad. Yeah. 3,900 people die near yeah. the temple. Yeah, very now bad. the biggest one, Macy Temple. Yeah, you very bad. So if this was a genuine interaction with a genuine Sri Lankan citizen and they suggested that you should go and see some kind of attraction and you just told them you weren't interested, that would be the end of that part of the conversation. They wouldn't suggest that again. But this guy, he's walking in the opposite direction of where he was originally going and following me through all the streets to try and convince me that I have to go and see this place. Yeah. It's pretty obvious he's trying to lead me to something that's going to end up with me parting with cash. Seen this temple? No. Oh. You never seen, never been to here? No, first I will walk uh, walk across to the Red Mosque. Red Mosque, right? Yeah. You seen Ganga Rame, Buddha Hair Temple? No. Then you the two, yeah. the Buddha Hair. Uh, I, don't, I don't like to visit the temple, not interesting for me. No but, temple? Yeah. Uh, not big on religion, so uh -huh. uh, the temple not really interesting yeah. for me. Temple not interesting. Yeah, not Only interesting for me. Okay, so he's engaging with me in a bit of chit chat about Sri Lanka and different places that are good to see, but still he's trying to steer the conversation in the direction of suggesting that this beautiful temple is a place that I must go and see, despite me outright telling him that I've got zero interest in temples. Yeah, uh, I like the architecture, the old buildings from, oh, from the Portuguese and the Dutch and the yeah, British, yeah, they yeah. build uh, some nice buildings in uh, Sri Lanka, huh? Sri Lanka, yeah. They build some nice, uh, n n n nice looking buildings. They go Dutch building, Dutch. Yeah, the Dutch, Dutch, they built the buildings 300, 400 years ago yes, and so still, go. still yeah, here, yeah, still yeah. here, not fall down after three, four hundred three, years, three thousand, huh? Three thousand, three hundred and years ago, uh. make the Dutch church, 1749. Uh, okay. The Dutch church. Dutch buildings, good. Only Dutch. Not for otherwise, only Dutch. Okay. That's good. Because you came, you want to see the uh, Dutch colonial building. Yeah. And British colonial building. Yeah, I see in, uh, in Gaul. In Gaul, they have uh, the many Dutch buildings everywhere, huh? Gaul. In Gaul, yeah. Gaul, Dutch port. Yeah. Gaul is a Dutch port. Yeah, yeah. And the Nugambo British people uh -huh. make Nugambo. Uh -huh. Okay. The is a British one. Now very hot, sir. That's the yeah, it's hot. Yeah, for me especially, because yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. from here. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm you going to walk on my temple. own. Tsunami no, temple. I'm going to walk to the Red Mosque now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, nice to meet you. Yeah, you go Tsunami Temple, never seen. Okay, maybe later the I go. Building. Okay. Building. Yeah, maybe later I go. Nice uh -huh. to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Okay, See, you. See you. See you. Have yeah. a nice day. Walk, 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 walk. Okay, so I finally got rid of him, but not without a desperate attempt from him to try and convince me to go to see this tsunami temple. You can see the desperation on his face there, he just has one last attempt as he knows that I'm leaving. Oh, but you don't want to go and see the tsunami temple? Oh yeah, the tsunami temple, tsunami temple! I don't care, mate, I don't care, see you later. Alright, so that fella was walking with me for like five minutes. But hey, that's not the end of the story. This fella, look at him, behind me. He's on his phone now, and a tuk-tuk stops beside him to pick him up. He didn't wave it down or anything. This tuk-tuk's just stopped and let him in. And so basically, that tuk-tuk's his friend, and that tuk-tuk must have been stalking us the whole time, like dr driving behind us, like maybe like 10 meters behind, just following us. So that's part of the scam. So what is this scam? Well, I did a bit of googling afterwards and the only reference I could find to a tsunami temple in Colombo was on somebody's blog saying that they got scammed, funnily enough. <laughs> so I've read that and the way it works is this, okay? The scammer approaches the tourist, he convinces them to visit the tsunami temple, this beautiful tsunami temple that's nearby. His friend's in a tuk-tuk and he sees them and offers them a free ride because he's offering it for free. Why would you offer it for free? Oh, because you want to go and see the memorial to our good people who died in the tsunami. I'll take you there for free. So the scammer 
the Tuk Tuk and the victims go to the Tsunami Temple. It ends up being like 15 minutes away, so apparently not that nearby after all. Anyway, it turns out just to be some ordinary temple, not beautiful, just, well, as beautiful as temples are, it's just some ordinary temple that are ten a penny in Sri Lanka, you know? So, the, the victims spend like a couple of minutes there at best, don't take any photos, and just ask the tuk-tuk to drive them back to the Colombo Fort area. So, they get in the tuk-tuk, the they get back to Colombo Fort, and that's when the tuk-tuk starts demanding massive amounts of money from them. Apparently, only the, only the ride to the temple was free, not the ride back. So that's the scam. They've just given, the tuk-tuk's just given up all this time and everything, and he's asking for the money for taking them there. And knowing that it's probably their first day in Sri Lanka, they don't know how much a tuk-tuk costs. So he's asking for whatever, like $20, $30, I presume. Anyway, in the blog I read, the victims had an argument with this tuk-tuk, and they just threw him a 500 rupee note and told them to take it or leave it. So they took it and they drove off shouting abuse at the victims with their money in their pocket. So there you have it. That's quite an elaborate scam just to get an overpriced tuk-tuk fare out of some victims. I feel like if these people can come up with such a scam, such an elaborate scheme, that they can use that kind of ingenuity to create some kind of entrepreneurial business. But I don't know, I guess they just find it easier to be dirty scammers than entrepreneurs. Well, congratulations, scumbags. You may earn an easy 500 or 1,000 rupees now and again from some stupid tourists. But know this, and know it clear. Foreign visitors hate you. Your own Sri Lankan people despise you for disgracing their country. So enjoy your life of stealing from people for petty cash, for chump change, while being hated by absolutely everyone. Enjoy that life while it lasts. Hopefully not for too long. Okay, so please give this video a thumbs up. It'll help more people see it. And if only one person sees this and then avoids wasting their time and money on this kind of scam, then it's worthwhile, isn't it? So uh, until next time, guys, please consider subscribing. More slanking videos are coming soon. But until next time, cheerio for now, and I will see you on the next one.